Hello everyone, my name is Jaime Perez and welcome to another episode of my podcast. I just want to start off by apologizing for a long, long delay on my from my last episode. I was hoping to be a little bit more active when it came to making these podcast episodes, right? Keeping up with my series, but unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to take some time for myself and sit down and truly talk about what's been going on in my life. Um, I want to make sure to give an explanation for today's episode um, and its title. Uh, the title of the episode today is Talking About Feelings is Hard. I have recently gone through experiences where I've not just had trouble expressing my emotions to people, but I've had a trouble coming to terms with some feelings that I've had internalized for quite some time. So I just wanted to dive into that a little bit, talk about what it means to be open and too open with some people, and more importantly, what it means to be honest with the feelings that you have inside and the true danger of repressing such emotions. So just before I go into that, I do want to give some life updates. I've been at Holy Cross for more than a semester now. I've had the opportunity to experience the independence of college, the ups and downs of making friendships in college, and more importantly, the challenge that is not being with your family for so, so long, and the toll it, it really does take on the relationships with your family members. And I think that at the end of the day, you know, I absolutely do appreciate this experience that I have being an out-of-state student. While it is so sad that I can't see my family and my dogs and all of my good old friends, you know, I do appreciate the amount of love that I do receive here on an out-of-state campus. And more importantly, I appreciate the opportunity to be independent, to be really capable of living your own life and learning the rules on your own. I think that when you're being raised by your parents, when you're dependent on them your entire life, you of course learn very important lessons. I am very grateful for what my parents have taught me. However, there are things that you just have to learn by yourself and I think that being in college, being so far away from home, as heartbreaking as it may be, has been an absolute privilege that, you know, I want to keep taking advantage of and I want to keep learning from. Now sort of heading more towards the um, initial um, purpose of this episode, I want to talk about internal feelings and how much of an impact those feelings can have um, or more or less how much of an impact it can have when you repress them and don't necessarily talk about what you're feeling inside. For... As long as I can remember, I've always had feelings in my soul, feelings in my body, that quite frankly made me feel like nothing mattered sometimes. At times, I would not have even the motivation to want to get out of bed, but I would drag myself out for the sake of those who I love. No one should have to do that, and unfortunately, a lot of people do that. I will admit, I do have so many privileges in my life where sometimes I don't think my emotions are valid. I hear about other people who suffer daily, day in and day day out, and have to experience these horrible, horrible circumstances in their lives, and they still manage to live a positive lifestyle. However, they never, ever express the turmoil that they feel in the inside. I feel that sometimes I have to put up a mask, a mask to make people think that I'm happy, a mask to make think people think that I'm okay. But the reality of the situation is that at times I'm, I'm not okay. And I think that there's nothing more toxic for oneself than to put up this front and to not be genuine with yourself at all times. And I think I've learned that a lot within these past few months to just be open, to be honest. It doesn't hurt to take some time for yourself, to take time to be real, and to more importantly, make it a priority to be real. I think that we always have our priorities skewed, and one of those most skewed priorities is how we want people to see us. We want to seem okay. We want to seem like we do have a grasp on our lives, or 
at least a grasp that's tight enough for us to be or to seem <laughs> like we manage ourselves well. But there's nothing wrong with simply being real, with simply being open. Is it difficult? Yes. Will it be impossible for some people? Of course it will. But one should never, ever have to experience that feeling of not being able to talk about their feelings. I think that that's such an important lesson I've gained here, and it really has not just helped me make me a more compassionate person, but it's helped make me a more open, vulner- vulnerable, excuse me, and sensitive person. I'm stuttering over my words because it's really, it's a little hard for me to talk about this, and I don't, and of course, not a lot of people are going to hear it, but I do feel, you know awkward nonetheless talking to a microphone about how I'm feeling (laughs) but nevertheless I do want people to know one thing and one thing only and this is my opinion of course this is what I feel not everyone has to feel this way but if you have these internal feelings that you've been bottling up inside don't keep them in because one day you will explode. One day these emotions will be too much to control. It will be overwhelming for you. And quite frankly, that can be damaging to one, one's life. I recently experienced a sort of explosion of emotions. Not with anyone specifically. I didn't snap at anyone or get in an argument. But more or less with myself. I think I had a very overwhelming night one day. And I just started, I just broke down. And I started crying. And when you go through these emotions, when you start feeling all these emotions well out in, quite frankly, a toxic way, you just need to be honest with yourself and really start to reconsider how you are interpreting these emotions and how you're taking the time for yourself to really let these emotions out. I think it is so important for people to be able to analyze their feelings and to be capable of expressing them in a healthy way but we never take the time to do that for ourselves just because we're so worried about how we look to others and I think that one one thing I do want to recommend for anyone and this is something I recently started partaking in my campus provides me the, the privilege of being able to go to counseling whenever I need to go And I think that that is such a helpful method of being able to properly channel those emotions and to be able to express them in an open and clear manner without getting confused about what you really mean. When you're in counseling or when you're talking to a trustworthy resource who promises you that what you say will stay with them, you definitely have a stronger sense of what you're feeling and you definitely have the capability to talk about what you feel and how you feel about it. I'll be honest, I was afraid of going to counseling because I didn't want to come to terms with this emotion inside of me that has been boiling and bubbling for so, so long. But when I went this morning (laughs) on February 6, 2020, I've never felt more liberated in my life to talk about what I've been feeling and thinking to someone else, someone I can trust. If you have the opportunity to find a trustworthy source or at least open ears who are willing to listen to you, open ears who you can confide in, confide in, excuse me, I would recommend it 100%. I truly will. Finally, I think that one should never ever be afraid of embracing their emotions. If you're feeling upset, if you're feeling mad, frustrated, happy, Embrace that feeling. Take it and embrace it and make the most out of that emotion because at the end of the day, any emotion is valid for any absolute reason. No one's emotions are supposed to be, you know... I I have trouble putting it into words, but I don't think anyone's emotion or anyone should be reacting to any situation in their lives like everyone else. For example, if I see a balloon fly up in the sky and it leaves a child's hands, I'm going to be upset about it because, of course, that kid's not going to have that balloon anymore. But some other person might laugh at it because they find it funny, you know? It's not a bad thing. 
I think it's not bad for people to have different interpretations of the life around them. I don't think it's bad for people to interpret circumstances with different emotions. And I think that if you do have different emotions about something, if you do have different feelings about people, and while they may have a feeling for you, don't invalidate how you feel, embrace how you feel, and just try not to close it off. Try not to close yourself off from feeling that way. Because at the end of the day, as I said before, you will explode and you will feel very, very unhealthy when you don't express how you really feel. I just want to end this episode off by saying that there's so many people in my life that I appreciate. So many people who have quite honestly given me so much in my life and there's nothing more than I can ask for. Um... And for those of you who may listen today, I want you to reach out to those people and I want you to thank them and tell them that you love them. More importantly, ask them how they're doing. There's nothing better than being asked how your day went by those that you care about the most. There's nothing better than those people hearing from you that you're genuinely interested in their emotions. Go out there, show some love, because at the end of the day, you never know how much of an impact it can make on people. Keep an eye out for the next episode. Thank you for tuning in and listening to my ramble today. Um, And yeah, thank you guys so much.